Welcome to Simply Science from Nature Education. I'm Adam Weiss and I'm here in Somerville, Massachusetts at the apartment of Jonathan McDowell, an astrophysicist at the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics and a historian of science and space travel in particular, who wants to tell us about what it really means to be in orbit around the Earth or around anything else. It's not just about being in space, is it? No, that's right. It's actually not too hard to get into space. Uh, as early as 1942, German rocket scientists put the V2 rocket 100 kilometers above the surface of the Earth, and of course it fell right back down again. That's easy enough to do, but it took another 15 years for Sputnik, the first thing to actually go into orbit, to go all the way around the Earth and stay up there. So what does it mean to be in orbit? You don't have to fire your rocket engine, you don't have to keep it going. Uh, it's just like the moon uh, orbiting the Earth, the moon just falls around the Earth. And uh, you know, the person who said it best, I think, was Douglas Adams, who said the secret to flying is to throw yourself at the ground and miss. Um, and so what you do is you go up, but then you go sideways as fast as you can. And because you're going sideways, even though you fall towards the Earth, the Earth is full curving away from you. And so by the time you've fallen a mile, the Earth is curved away from you a mile, and you haven't got any closer. So you just stay the same distance, and you just repeat, and you fall all the way around the Earth. So it sounds like the hard part isn't getting up there. You can go straight up, but if you're not moving fast enough, you'll just fall right back down, and you won't stick. But to be in orbit means staying there, moving fast enough that you're throwing yourself to the ground and missing. Exactly. That's right. It's all about the speed, not just the height. And the height can vary, right? Astronauts, when they go to space, pretty much all of them just stay really close to the surface. But we've got satellites that are much, much higher than that, and certainly things have been even farther than the satellites are. That's right, yes. Apart from the Apollo astronauts in the 60s and 70s, all the astronauts have been really close to the Earth, just a, a few hundred kilometers up, below the radiation belts at a thousand kilometers. And how high would that be on this globe? So it's about this, this little plastic ring here. And uh, so, so it's really, um, we're just skimming the surface uh, with the space station, with the shuttle. They're not like way out, out here. Um, but when you get way out there, the, the uh, gravity of the Earth is, is a little bit weaker. Uh, when you're uh, on the space station, the gravity is pretty much the same as, as it is uh, when you're on the Earth. Um, uh, so the fact that you're floating around is, is just because you're falling. Uh, so whereas if you're far enough out, you can go more slowly, the, the Earth's gravity is weaker. It takes longer to get all the way around. Uh, and if you pick the height just right, if you're at 35,787 kilometers, uh, then it takes exactly 24 hours to go around the Earth. And that's how our television satellites work. They are orbiting the Earth at the same speed that the Earth is spinning, and so they always stay over the same place. So people who have a satellite dish know that when you set it up, you, you point it at the sky, but it stays pointed at that one spot. It doesn't have to follow anything. That's because those communication satellites stay where they are relative to us. They're moving at the same speed we are, basically. That's exactly right. And, and it's really easy high school math to figure out how fast you have to go at a given height. And it just depends as you, the further out you go, the more slowly uh, uh, you can go all the way out to a million and a half kilometers where the gravity of the sun becomes more important. You end up in orbit around the sun instead of around the Earth. But uh, all in that range, there are spacecraft in different orbits uh, doing different things. So. We've mostly been here with people. We've been out in terms of orbits all the way as far as you can go from the Earth. And, Absolutely. And, and, and as not, far as you can go from the sun, too, at this point, pretty much. That's right. We have several probes now that have escaped the sun's gravity and are heading out to the stars. Voyager 1 is well beyond Pluto. And uh, so it's going to be a long time before we really have to worry about orbits of our spacecraft uh, in the galaxy. But, uh, but for now, we're... Uh, um, homesteading the solar system and uh, really low Earth orbit is uh, um, just a, a busy place these days. So it's really just a matter of how fast you're going puts you in a specific spot and you can do all sorts of things from where you are. That's exactly right. Get high enough and then go fast enough and then you'll stay up. Great. Thank you very much for telling us all about this.